Renee? Liza, a number of people from different departments, departments at Oroville Hospital had been recently laid off, and now some of those people are looking to get the community involved. A huge crowd of protesters gathered in front of Oroville Hospital late Thursday afternoon demanding answers regarding recent layoffs. Fifty nurses, lab technicians, therapists, and physician's assistants were laid off by the hospital last month. It seems like they put our name in a hat and just whatever they pulled out is who they let go. Julie Aletta had been a registered nurse at Oroville Hospital for six years before she was let go last month. On Thursday afternoon, she was joined by laid off employees and current hospital employees. They say they're fighting to let the community know how it all happened. I did not get any notice about the layoff. I was actually called over the phone by my manager who told me I was laid off. No notice, nothing in writing. We were unable to speak with hospital administrators who had already left for the day, but last month they told Action News now that they've been looking at how the hospital can be more streamlined. Orville Hospital is constantly looking for ways that we can be more efficient, and um, so we're always looking at jobs to restructure positions so that we can continue to meet the demands of health care. They keep saying it's a restructuring. It is not a restructuring of jobs. It is because of poor management um, on the administration part. Protesters claim they're more concerned about the quality of patient care than their own jobs. However, hospital officials say they'll still have enough staff to take care of all the patients. The union representative for the nurses filed a grievance against the hospital for not being informed of the recent layoffs, and hospital officials say they're being transport, transparent and employees can come to them with any questions. Reporting for Action News Now, I'm Renee Crane.